When we first see the artist's paintings, we don't have any names that go along with them. So we're, we don't know if it's a man, if it's a woman, if it's an accomplished art, if it's, it's something that we've seen before, something that's been shown. It could be uh, somebody who's been painting in their basement since last year. So that's interesting because it sort of takes away, as there's a human nature, you, if somebody tells you something is really good, or you think other people think it's really good, then you say, well, maybe we should be considering this. photos that stuck out in your mind. That's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the process of what we, how we chose the works or how you chose the works. You know, it, it moves from from quadrant to quadrant. You can follow it around. You're all seeing something different. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. As far as the judging process goes, we're very unique because we do not allow any of the judges to have any information in advance other than the visuals. Uh, I always think it's so cool because when you first start painting, you think it's drawing, and right. it's not drawing. It's it's an implication of landscape. It's a there's no drawing. There's nothing there in that picture that sketched. is actual that is actually sketched. It's just it's we perceive it as as landscape and as a and as what it looks like. And I think that it's uh, it's beautiful. It's very easy to be judged on your past. It's difficult to be judged on your present when it comes to the art world. So that's where, again, continuing the process with the same judges really is helpful. Lots of style, lots of um, contrast, lots of techniques, different techniques that I haven't seen before, lots of texture. Um, people have very intriguing subject matters. This year in particular, it's very eclectic. It always is eclectic, you know, you have very good artists and then you have mediocre artists, but I think that's the beauty of that whole experience also, that it's very uneven. And this year it's also quite uneven, but that's all right. It also gives a chance to an unknown, perhaps, artist to show alongside artists that are already established, as in this case, too. But I like the process. It's sort of, uh, art has to speak for itself because we don't know who the artist is. and. Uh, so it was an interesting, actually an interesting exercise. I do like it. It's very, um, it's not very restricted also. You can be kind of free to meander and, and, uh, and show our own voice. When I first came to the brush off, I mean, I, I was a very casual, very casual art uh, observer and, and uh, I guess collector. Now I've, I've started to paint and one of the things that I have realized about, about painting, and this applies to Alzheimer's in, a, in that I see a connection between um, losing control. Um, when you have Alzheimer's, you lose control, whether you're the person with Alzheimer's or whether you're the, the person trying to care for your loved one, there's a loss of control. And art is a beautiful thing. Art is something that's different to everybody. Um, but ultimately, everyone will find a painting that they love, a style that they love. And I think we're creating something great by exposing um, young and unknown artists uh, some very good artists who, who don't necessarily you know, have the kind of wide audience that they deserve. And also helping out people with Alzheimer's and their families. And I think it's a great thing. Uh, this year I think we have the, the greatest group of artists we've ever had. In terms of talent, in terms of variety of, of, of media that they're using, um, in terms of styles, uh, in terms of skill level. 
and uh, I'm, I'm super excited about this year. Brush Off Project on Mountain Lake Journal is brought to you by Alan and Carrie Lantier, proud supporters of Mountain Lake PBS, The Brush Off Project, and Alzheimer's Quality of Life Projects.